Now, the Independent Intellectual and Boundaries Commission is condemning claims by Jubilee that opposition areas are being favoured in the distribution of BVR kits. The IEBC was reacting to claims by the head of the Jubilee Party Secretariat, Rafael Tuju. Take a look. Rafael Tuju says Jubilee has written a letter to IEBC to explain why some areas perceived to be opposition strongholds appear to have more kits compared to Jubilee areas. But in a quick response, IEBC has condemned Jubilee's claim of bias in BVR kit distribution. IEBC communication manager Andrew Limo says the distribution criteria was based on population and area. The commission says Tuju's statement is ill-intentioned and meant to profile commissioners ethnically. This is important because it is in the public domain that there is a credibility challenge for the IBC because of the history of IBC and even the new team led by Mr. Chibukati and Mr. Chiloba has got credibility issues, especially in some of our strongholds, because they are seen to be coming from areas that are essentially called NASA ODM. In recent days, the opposition has exposed flaws in the voter register during the ongoing process of massive voter registration. There have been cases of double registration. Even names of prominent leaders have been found to share national identification card numbers with ordinary citizens. Tuju says cases of double registration should be squarely blamed on the opposition for blocking a forensic audit of the polls register. It's like throwing the IBC into the deep end, but tying their hands and their, their, their legs so that, and then asking them to swim. How can they possibly be able to clean the register when there's a court case by ODM, NASA stroke court, stopping them from auditing that particular register? Indeed, my question is, why is the Chibukati Chiloba led commission being soft on this? Last week, IEBC admitted almost 129,000 persons were registered more than once. IEBC says cases of double registration are scattered across the country. The commission has confirmed to the standard newspaper that 57,608 ID numbers used to register voters do not exist in their system, while 21,149 are cases of single ID numbers used to register more than once. The commission says 52,987 ID numbers do exist in the National Registration Bureau records as genuine ID holders. Consequently, the commission is in the process of publishing all the 74,752 names of double registrations in local dailies. Affected persons will have 10 days to rectify the records, failing which the names will be deleted from the polls register. Patrick Amimo, KTN News.